y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is bell and this is the bell perspective and today we're going to be reviewing the real housewives of atlanta season 15 episode 14 wreck it ralph and that is the perfect way to describe him because he is a catastrophe okay but before we get into that let's get into some housekeeping items first this is a growing channel y'all and what that means is i need your help okay what we do on the bell perspective we review books we review reality tv we review you know scripted shows we do a little bit of gossip most importantly we build community and have a little kiki on the side okay and so that's what we do over here and i think you're gonna like it actually i know you're going to love it so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and as i am sharing my perspective Get down in the comments and share yours with me. Love to hear what you have to say. Love having good conversation in the comment section. That's what makes community work, okay? So get down in the comments, share your thoughts and opinions, and uh, help me grow my channel, all right? Support Black women. Let's let's get into this review. I took a, I, I took a lot of notes. I'm like scrolling, I'm scrolling. I, I took a good amount of notes. So we're gonna try to get through this thing, y'all. I am running so behind. I have a schedule that I try to stick to, especially on work nights or work weeks, work days. But y'all, the sun is up and I'm recording. That's how late I am. I usually get up at five. Anyway, long story short, I'm late. <laughs> so we're gonna try to do what we can do also opens up with all the a montage of the ladies you know how they usually like to show everyone in their element with their families or at work or you know doing their thing candy and blaze are in the kitchen brushing their teeth y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that i know had i been brushing my teeth in the kitchen my grandmother probably would have had a conniption so i y'all tell me what y'all think about brushing your teeth in the sink and she was like spit in the sink the kitchen sink Y'all let me know about that. Drew is going to rent a house, a really big property, so that she can host a mental health retreat for the girls. And we'll talk about that because we end up seeing it later on in the episode. The house was transformed perfectly. Drew did a really good job. That was really, it was really cute. There was a whole, there was like a little bit of hoopla about not having any alcohol. But I'm like, if it's a mental health retreat, come on, y'all. Y'all could do without it. Allison is helping her with this. We love Allison, y'all. Love Allison. We go up for her. She has just such great energy, and I love seeing her on my TV screen every time she's there. So, yes, we go up for Allison. Drew makes mention of how her sister's mental health uh, went on a decline, you know, after her divorce or during her divorce. And the way that she was talking, it almost kind of made it seem like she knew what was happening maybe and now that I think about it it's the confessional so this was filmed after the show so she probably was already in the midst of going through her divorce Sanya's pregnancy announcement so cute I actually love the way she announced it with everybody the way she announced it with Roz the way she announced it to the family her sister her mom her dad her son, I thought that was so cute. The way she announced it to the girls, I just, it was so cute. Mom was confused. She was like, well, what happened? What, 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 what happened? I'm like, oh, mama, come on now, please. And it took her a minute, y'all. Let me tell you, Shaz, her sister was like, all right, congratulations, but we moving out. Baby, you're not about to try to make me no nanny. I said, I know that's right. Get to Drew and Ralph. They're going on a date night. I always... Y'all already know how I feel about Ralph. Like nobody's home. No one no one is home with Ralph. So I don't even understand how people can have how Drew got to a place where she felt like he was fit to even get married. I, I don't talking to him in in 15 minutes, you're like, Hello. Hello. And that's every conversation that I've ever seen with ralph so i don't understand how anybody took him seriously to say yes i will marry you or to date him I, I don't i don't understand how drew got to this place but they're talking ralph is doing mental gymnastics to try to work out why he stopped going to therapy and why he can't go and 
I was very proud of Drew for saying, listen, if he is not going to continue with therapy, I'm going to see still continue for my own benefit so that I can be a better person. And I think that's absolutely insane for one person to be in therapy, working on themselves, trying to be a better person just in general. And then the other person is doing their own thing. I think for me, and I've never been married before, but I just feel like marriage is a commitment to grow with each other, right? And I just, I feel like it's a cop-out. I feel like it's a cop-out. Drew is going to be on in the movie, Todd's movie. She's taking a lead role and she is kind of letting him know, hey, I'm not going to be around as much as I usually am because I've got this movie. So for the next 10 days, I'm going to need you to kind of step in a little bit more. He says, oh no, that's going to be a problem because I'm busy and I'm traveling. What the hell do you do for a living again, Ralph? I don't even know. Somebody said in on Twitter, maybe he he's going to technology convention. <laughs> I'm not about to play with y'all, but what I will say is that Ralph is full of shit. Let's move on. Kenya, Shamia, and Candy. I was kind of shocked to see Shamia there. I mean, it was cute to see her, but I didn't... What's the relationship between Candy and Shamia? That they didn't get along because of Portia? I oh, don't know. I don't keep up with this. I really don't keep up with stuff offline. If it's not on the show, I'm not... I don't really pay attention and I don't too much care. Candy... I mean, not Candy. Kenya is considering having another baby. Girl, what I... So she has embryos. Uh, obviously the embryos were fertilized by Mark. Why can't you just adopt? Instead of doing all of this, going out of your way to put your life on the line, to have another baby with a man who is psychotic, you literally could just adopt. That, that would solve all the issues. What is the problem? I don't understand. Kenya has decided that she wants to probably try to get a surrogate. Uh, I guess surrogate to the stars, <laughs> surrogate to the stars, Shadina. I'm like, girl, you just popping out babies left and right to anybody who will pay. I, I guess, I guess. Uh, Shamia is gone with her. Candy went with her. And I think Kenya is potentially thinking about uh, using Shadina as well. I don't know, but girl, go ahead. Surrogate to the stars. I guess that's a, a, I guess. Kenya brings up the fact that during Sheree's birthday dinner, Martel was asking all the women to cash app him because the total bill was $1,500. Now, in regular people world, $1,500, ooh, girl, yikes, right? It would have caused the whole Twitter uproar. People would have been arguing about this for at least two to three weeks. But in reality TV world, you supposed to have it like that. Y'all supposed to have it like that. Martel, you in here cash apping these or asking these women to cash app you to pay for $1,500 worth of... And you know what? Now that I think about it, I mean, he got five kids and he don't really be doing no real work. So I guess that makes sense. Ask Sheree in the, in the confessional, what did Martel get you for your birthday? She said an Alexander McQueen um handbag. Girl, you asking him to bear, is it a handbag? Girl, you was a lot. You are... I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna get on Sheree because I don't have time for her today. You lying ass bitch. But Sheree, when she get to stuttering, you know she lying. They have the table read for the movie. I am truly rooting for Drew, but Drew be on some, she be on some fool of fucking nigga trick. I ain't gonna lie to you. She always lying about something. It's like, lying ass bitch. Like Drew. I am trying to root for you, girl. I really am. Shout out to uh, Forrest Rocks with the fool of fucking nig nigga tree. I am trying to root for you, Drew. But every time you sit up here and you fix your mouth to tell us a story, how am I supposed to do that? I'm so sick and tired of you, girl. You're making me look bad. Why am I always rooting for the toxic people? I don't know. Mental health retreat looked amazing. Cynthia, yes, I wrote it in all caps. Cynthia is there, a 50 cent, all right? So the whole situation with Ralph coming in and not hugging Drew until like last or whatever. Ralph and Ross walk in. I go hold you. Not gonna hold you. 
Drew reached for Ralph. I'm sorry, Drew reached for Ross first. So say I'm Drew. Ross is here on my right hand side. Ralph is on her left, like to her on her left. She was kind of more so to the right. So she quickly, hey, Ross, saying your husband. She was expecting to hug Ralph. Ralph saw that, took that moment and, and decided to be petty with it. That's what happened in that moment. He saw her hug Ralph and was like, oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and hug everybody else except for you. I don't like I do not like Ralph. I do not like Ralph. I be in here fighting the air every time I see his ugly ass on the screen. I'm so sick of him. So sick of Ralph. Ralph goes to hug up on Courtney. Y'all, I think they kissing cousins. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. They kissing cousins. Ain't nothing nobody can tell me. Actually, you can. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. <laughs> then they split everyone up to go to do yoga so the women go and do some meditation and yoga actually meditation and the guys stay downstairs I'm like why the men can't do some meditation they need it too okay mental health is for everyone mental health exercises and awareness and and upkeep is for everyone so they go upstairs marlo say it stank no i didn't see anybody else saying it stank i was like maybe it's your top lip marlo i don't know kiana oh kiana okay so while the girls are in there doing their meditation the guys are downstairs they're talking about the lawsuit and all of that and there was a lady named kiana that walks up to ralph and he go to producers being real messy she's like hey baby i see you working kiana was on the duo i don't know if y'all saw the matchmaking show that would bravo had it was so cute i can't remember what it was called i think it was like match matchmaking atlanta or something like that she was one of the people that the matchmakers were working with um she's a comedian i don't know if ralph is involved with her at all but they definitely tried to imply that in that scene um so again the women have wrapped up meditation they go sit down and get something to eat very reminiscent of portugal the lawsuit went from $1,000 to $10,000. See, see, Drew, this is this is where I be trying to stick my neck out on the line to defend you, and you embarrass me every time. I be so tired. You lying ass bitch. How do I do this to myself? Oh, my God. I cannot. Shout out to Cynthia for orchestrating the drama. She starts to kick up the dust. Come on, OG. She's like, what happened with this lawsuit? with this divide that's going on and with the divide they talk about the collusion that Monietta witnessed and how they were trying to forge some sort of you know alliance between Courtney Sanya Marlo and you know to go against Kenya Candy Drew Courtney called Drew a bitch in Portugal she did not want to admit it. I believe Monietta. I believe Monietta telling the truth. I believe she was telling the truth. Courtney called Drew a bitch. Now, they try to play it off and be like, well, I call everybody a bitch. A bitch, a bitch, a bitch, 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 please. Bitch. No, that was not, that was not, that was not that, Marlo. Y'all, y'all are not. But, I mean, how do we really feel? Why do we... I don't know if I could have ever said that Courtney was really truly genuine and I can't say that I really felt like Courtney was truly interested in connecting with Drew in that way so I'm not surprised and I what I really need Drew to understand is that these women especially women like Courtney them women don't give a damn about them about you this is what made me get upset about Sanya like Sanya I think Sanya is a a good person i think she's a genuine person i think she is caught up in the wrong folks and i don't know what it is and maybe maybe this is who she is and i just need to accept it for what it is anyway they take a picture sanya does her i'm pregnant she opens up her her um her shirt to show i'm pregnant and she sends the picture to everybody so that they can open up and see that she says i'm pregnant so they celebrate that um from what i'm hearing is that the pregnancy that she was announcing on the show actually didn't 
didn't carry the term. She ended up getting pregnant again. So this was, this is the, the rainbow baby, um, that, that happened. So shout out to, to, to Sanya and the Ross family. Shout out to them. I'm telling you, they was, hate, was hating on that announcement. She was like, does it have to be a social media moment? Girl, it's pregnancy announcement. Boo, that's a huge thing. That That's huge. I didn't like that, Drew. That was that was a little... I didn't like that. Uh, Drew ends up meeting with Dr. Ken. You know, y'all may... I, D. Dr. Ken, I was like, okay, Dr. Ken. I got, what, got a little Beijing. Got a little, got a little, you know, suit or whatever. He looked nice. I thought he looked nice. Anyway... Basically, Dr. Ken is like, girl, when when is enough enough? Cause she, I'm sick of I'm sick of coming over here, and I'm sick of you telling me about Ralph. He ain't shit. When you gonna let him go, girl? That's the gist of what Dr. Ken was saying. <laughs> Down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the episode. Uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and follow Harold C as well on Twitter. We'll be having good conversations going back and forth while the show is on. So definitely follow me on Twitter. Follow Harold C. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Oh, why do I keep... Y'all gotta get my nails done today. Today's Monday. Y'all take care.